Hi there everyone, it's Michelle here. I thought I would do a video about the signs of autism because I haven't done a video like that before. So I thought I would do it. So like as many of you may know, I'm doing a series of you know, sensory processing uh, disorder and play and that. But what are the signs of autism? Um, and so I'm going to tell you the signs of autism a, li a little bit later. But just listen to my kind of like personal experience of having like uh, my kids. I got twins, a boy and a girl, Matthew and Rebecca. They was born at, at 36 weeks in 2016 and they weighed Matthew weighed six pounds eight and Rebecca six pounds two and um the pregnancy was absolutely fine um the the labor I had a c-section um yeah like the the whole process was you no know, fine and I think I spoke before about you no know, kind of going home and uh, juggling things and stuff but I really want to like I focus on um today about I say Matthew and how he was and how what was he like as a baby and when did things kind of change and when I'm talking about uh, this it's coming from a personal point of view. I will give you the signs of autism, but again, some of the signs of autism, if they are very young, so still like a baby and that, or, or even one or two, um, I would really kind of wait, maybe like seek like, um, help from your GP or your health visitor but see I have I've been working in you no know, social care special needs education like all my life I've been around people with autism like all my life um children aged like uh, from five up to you know like adulthood and that so you know to me like you no know, that's been my life you know around people with autism when um i was with like you know, my husband and we was kind of dating we we did talk about kind of like if we had a child with you know, like a disability because i know what it's like i know how hard it is and that and the thing is with autism there's no you know there's no test you know what was it um before they are really kind of like say free you know what was it because it's you know it's a it's to do with the brain you know and stuff um and so and my husband was like well do you know what i just want a child and what was it and that child will be my child with or without a disability like he said you know i'll treat it just the same and that to me was really really, really important because I know, what was it? It was, it would have been really hard otherwise. So, and what did I think like that? Like, what was the point of my, my thinking? Well, to be honest with you, we have, we know that like autism is genetic. We've got um, family members with uh, disabilities, um, with autism and, with other disabilities and and stuff i'm dyslexia you know um i had a speech impairment and stuff and so there was always that chance always that small chance and that so no it was kind of i had to make sure that you no know, the person i was going to be with was going to be the right person and i think that's so important because there's so many parents out there who who will have a child and then later on what was it they you know their partner will you know find it really hard because you know their child is different you know they've got autism and 
they don't know how to cope with it. So I needed to make sure, not because, what was it, like, I knew I was going to have a child with autism, because you don't, but because I wanted to make sure that, you no, know, he was going to be there, what was it, like, you know, for, like, us as a couple, you know, and for our kids, and that, and I thought we would only have one child, because of my, like, PCOS and stuff, I just thought I would have one child, but, like, a god, um, I gave me two, which I'm so delighted, and it's absolutely amazing, and I wouldn't change Matthew for, like, a world, I, I just wouldn't, he's so, he's so special, he's so, like, unique, and, you know, he, like, he really makes me, um, happy, and I'm getting emotional now, so, hmm. Coffee is always good. So, Matthew was you know, quite a um, loud baby. He was really loud from the beginning. When he cried, he would... We used to call him um, Tower Townsend. Um, it's a nickname that uh, Darwin gave him because his brother was the same. He was always loud. It's like, you know... And that hasn't really changed that much, um, to be honest. Matthew is so loud. Now, like, when he cries or he's upset, actually, even when he, like, isn't upset and he's just going, ah, um, you know, and babbling and trying to say stuff, um, he's really loud. Um, Sleep-wise, he was always up and down. Like, he could just go off just like that, but then he could wake up um and he would be upset um he was late at like everything as well so he was late uh in like all his uh, developments uh rebecca was a uh, late but not as late as him so yeah so it was hard work and it was hard work because you know had to had two of them um but sometimes we he would just cry and we didn't know why um responding to like um when they get to a certain age um, they should be responding to their name and he wasn't and he did give us smiles and he, i mean that's what you know if you look up a uh i've read so many books on autism and that they always say that you no know, children with autism um i don't smile you know they don't they don't have, um, you know, emotions, you know, their faces, no, um, they don't give you eye contact, um, they don't hug you, you know, they don't want cuddles, they don't want touch, and this is very southern, you no know, type, because actually, Matthew is a hugger, he loves hugs, he's like, he gave me such a nice hug, like, when I pick him up, and uh, when he comes downstairs and he's like, yeah, I want my hugs with my mummy. And so, to him, no, uh, no, having a hug, having a cuddle with mummy is calming. Um, he knows that I will tickle him and he loves that. Um, and he always has. Um, he's been also, like, he was always exploring things. So he would always go like this and, you no. Know, he wouldn't necessarily play with toys like Rebecca would, and even now he doesn't, but he would be like investigating. So what are the signs now? You know, no eye contact, yeah. No. Um that's kind of like the classical one, not responding to name, yeah. Repetition, yes. Um what was it like um and that could be anything repetition, you know, like I've been lining things up and that. Um, Matthew, um, he will bounce. He's always been a bouncer um, since he's been a baby. So he used to kick his legs up and down, up and down, up and down. And that um, hand flapping, mm, not, not so much in the beginning. Now, this is the thing. Hand flapping is one of the signs, but... It wasn't for Matthew. He didn't hand flap until probably about a year or two ago. Yeah, I would say 
probably when he was round about like two or three. And that. Uh, so I do think that what was it? Sometimes the child will develop signs later on, and like a rocking is another sign. But baby rock, babies they rock as well. They love being rock. Like Rebecca, she she loves being rock. Uh, when she was a baby, like now she know she was like. Rock me, mummy, I'm a baby. So she knows the fact that, no, what was it? No, rocking, no, doing this, is, um, most babies do it. So, and like a food is another one. No, um, so if your child, uh, like Matthew, this was Matthew, he started to eat when he was ran about like a year old. Then when he was 18 months, nah, he pushed it away. So he didn't have long with his food. I thought it was me, but it wasn't. It was his, him. Um, he um, he just developed, what was it? And uh, he just didn't want any food that we gave him. Like soft food he hates at the moment. Obsessions. Obsessions. Being obsessed with um, like anything. So... Matthew is, he's got his programs that he's obsessed with and that, um, so yeah, um, he doesn't really line things up or nothing like that, um, but he will, his movement, um, will, you know, he will get up and he will be moving around and, you know, he will spin around now and stuff, you know, he will flap his hands, he will bounce, um, but, he has changed as well but like when he was a baby i mean he didn't really want to play uh with us but you know he does now like in a very different way so i will list the signs in the description yeah um the classic signs and that but like really speaking like if you have any concerns and that then go and speak to your gp and like if your gp uh, doesn't kind of take any notice because your child is still too young just keep a diary uh this is what uh, we should have done but to be honest with you like when he went to nursery that's when things started to change that's when we got more more help and stuff and i will go into another video on that but um yeah, thanks for watching today's video and I will speak to you soon. Take care. Bye for now.